Now we need to get the value of cos 36. Now cos 36 can be rewritten as cos of 2 times of 18. Now this is similar. If I were to take theta is equal to 18 degrees, then this is going to be cos of 2 times theta. But we know that cos 2 theta is equal to 1 negative 2 times sine squared theta. So if theta is equal to 18 degrees, then cos of 2 times of 18 is equal to 1 negative 2 times of sine squared of 18. But we also know that sine 18 is equal to root of 5 negative 1 divided by 4. I already showed you this. Now, I need to take this value and substitute it here. Also, sine squared of 18. We, I, I just showed you what is sine squared of 18. So, sine squared of 18 has been found to be as 3 negative root of 5 divided by 8. So, take this value and substitute it here. So, therefore, cos 2 times of 18 is equal to 1 negative 2 times of sine squared squared 18. This is 3 negative root of 5 divided by 8. Now 2 divides here 4 times. So you get 1 negative of 3 negative root 5 divided by 4. You take the LCM. You get 4 negative of 3 negative root 5 divided by 4. So this is going to be 4 negative 3 positive root 5 divided by 4. You add these two you get 1 positive root of 5 divided by 4. Now, what is this? This is my cos 2 theta, which is nothing but cos 36. So, therefore, I have found cos 36 degree is equal to 1 positive root of 5 divided by 4. Okay, so to get this, what did I do? I showed you how to get sine 18, then I showed you how to get cos 18, then I also showed you how to get sine squared 18. So all of these things are required to reach this point.